Hello, I'm meteorologist Ryan Leach and this is the planning briefing for Sunday, June 2nd. First up, I just would like to show a satellite loop of the current situation. Um, we have quite the stream of moisture coming into the west coast and it extends all the way back um, across the Pacific Ocean and this is an atmospheric river that is going to, um, well as you're watching this briefing, will already be uh, affecting our weather here in western Montana and central Idaho uh, and will continue to do through do so through the day Monday. So first up, um, this atmospheric river is going to bring a lot of precipitation over a 48 hour period to the area. So here on the left we have a low end forecast or about a 10th percentile um, for how much precipitation or rain we expect to fall uh, over a 48 hour period. Actually it's, it's going to be more like a 36 hour period but uh, this is what to expect by Tuesday morning. And that is a low end forecast in, in Lowell, Idaho, which is kind of in the center of the heaviest precip, uh, one inch. And on the high end, a 90th percentile forecast is 2.2 inches. So uh, that's quite a range in the forecast, but still, even in the low end is, is one inch. So that's going to be very wet. And then, it go, of course, going across the region, even up in northwest Montana, um, you know, several areas coming in over an inch on the high end, uh, on the low end, around half an inch. So that's going to be another wet area uh, along with central Idaho and then of course into the Bitterroot Mountains uh, along the Montana-Idaho border. Generally expecting a little bit less precip or rain as you head uh, to the northeast. And then this is um, a middle of the road or the median forecast and this is kind of you know what we expect looking for around an, uh, you know over an inch and a half in Grangeville uh, and uh, at Lowell also. So again that bullseye the heaviest precipitation we're expecting mainly to be in central Idaho with this, but also some of that um, creeping into uh, northwest Montana with you know, nearly an inch forecast up there in, in much of that area. And then of course over an inch across much of, the, or excuse me, over half an inch across much uh, of the rest of northwest Montana and west central Montana. And of course this has led to an excessive rainfall outlook. Um, and these excessive rainfall outlooks are geared towards um, where you might have impacts from the heavy rain. So rapidly rising creeks and streams, clogged culverts, rock slides, mud slides, debris flows, um, any kind of flooding, anything like that where you're gonna see impacts. And of course that is focused right now uh, on central Idaho uh, with, a, um, uh, with a slight risk. And then also we have a marginal risk across much of the area for those impacts. Uh, this graphic right in here is depicting the probability of wind speeds greater, excuse me, wind gusts greater than 40 miles an hour. And you can see in Grangeville and down here on the Camas Prairie in this area, that there's a 76% chance that we'll see those winds. Uh, and even, even across much of uh, Idaho, is, even as we head up to places like Dent and um, up around Elk River in that area, looking at the potential for those strong winds. The concern with this is that with all the moisture that we have in saturated soils, we could see some tree fall and possibly power outages with that. Again, this would mostly be occurring Monday, after, Monday afternoon or um, Tuesday morning. And then also something similar we can see up in the northwest uh, Montana, just south of I-90. Uh, after our big rain event, though, we can look forward to uh, a pretty good warm up. So you can see here in the maximum temperatures for the rest of the week uh, across the region. We've got some pretty cool temperatures on Monday and Tuesday with that rain, uh, a pretty sharp warm up on Wednesday. And then we're looking at temperatures uh, Friday and Saturday in the upper 80s and lower 90s, um, you know, maybe even the mid 90s in some of the lower elevation places in central Idaho. So that's going to be quite a warm up towards the end of the week. Uh, with that warm up, though, we're going to have a lot of that, that moisture is going to be hanging around on the ground and the plants. It's just going to be very wet. And there is some potential uh, for some thunderstorms as we head into Saturday, Sunday of next week. And so stay tuned to the forecast to see what happens there. Uh, longer term, 6 to 10 day, overall with that big warm up and drying out, we're, we are looking at uh, drier than, you know, higher probability of drier than average conditions uh, through about June 11th. So to, to get us through the first part of the month. And along with that, above average temperatures. So even though we've got a, a few cool days coming up in the longer term, it looks like we're going to have more of those warmer days coming our way. So it should be a pretty nice start to the summer. So to wrap it up, heavy rain continues through Monday evening. Uh, we're looking at some winds over 40 miles per hour Monday evening, which may cause some trees to fall, especially in central Idaho and extreme western Montana. 
and then uh, there's a warm-up coming for the weekend with the potential for some thunderstorms, but long-term, warmer and drier than average. thank you.